Good day everyone, Sephiroth here. Hope you all enjoyed that opening as much as I did making it. It's one of my favorite builds in Double Cross. Now, just to note, this isn't some super meta set or anything, but it's something I really want to share for a while now. I call this build the Seregia's Two-Step. It started off as an idea with a follower and a friend on my stream, Draxiel, to make a uh, fun set that revolves around Seregia's auto-reload function and the extra evade shots you get from Brave Style Light Bowgun. Now, the first Seregia's two-step concept is to use the built-in slicing shots of the Sedition Bowgun. As you build up the Brave Beater, you'll get access to the sidestep shots. With the evade reload from Seregios, this means you shoot extra shots as you reload for slicing 1 and 2s. In other words, you have an endless stream of slicing shots and bonus shots. The light bowgun I picked is the Bayou's edition. It's the alternate hyper path to the Rosasa bowgun at weapon level 3. The, my personal set itself is a mix of Zilberlose Z Cap, Battlefield Lift Chest, Laoshan, Diablos XR Guards, Hyper Diablos, Silver Soul XR Coat, Hyper Silverlose, Gore XR Leggings, Hyper Gormagala. Yeah, it looks pretty horrible, so I kinda changed it to something else. The talisman I use is an Ammo Saver 7 3 slot. Yeah, it kinda sounds pretty demanding, but if you do want to rebuild the set, I do have a little list of the minimum charms you can use to make the set again. The skills on this very set are Challenger 2, True Shot Up, Ammo Saver, Weakness Exploit, and Critical Boost. So this is how I start the fight. I started off with the Slicing 2s for that speedy brave meter load. Once the meter is filled, it's party time! One slicing shot, two side steps, left, right. Now, as you might have noticed, the shooting angle changes a bit every side step. You can use this to both reposition and dodge attacks. Each little bonus shot does a bit of KO damage to the head and exhaust. I've noticed monsters tiring out way faster than it should using the set. Now let's talk about the strengths. Slicing shots break parts hilariously fast, it gets pretty funny sometimes. Now, since this set it runs exclusively on boosted slicing shots, it relies heavily on the number of shots you get, which is 28 slicing 1s and 24 slicing 2s. Back in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, you can craft these slicing shots. Sadly here in the cross versions, cross generations, double cross, it's strictly internal ammo, so as you might know, there's not much ammo you can bring to a hunt. If you're gonna run a different shot type, you can change ammo saver to the shot type boost. That way you can run pellet shots, you can run pure shots, you can run normal shots. Um, and it auto reloads every time you sidestep. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video I made. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. Hope to see you soon.